At birth, babies are assigned a sex, but that assignment could cause complications, especially if someone is born intersex. Academy Award-nominated director Julie Cohen follows three people who were born intersex, including River Gallo, who are now hoping to help others develop a deeper understanding of what being intersex means in the new film, Every Body. Let's take a look. Society generally considers that biological sex is cut and dry. Actually, it's not cut and dry. We don't fall neatly into that male-female box. I was born intersex, and although I was born with a vagina, I was also born with internal testes. We live in a society that's so binary. So as an intersex person, where do I fit? Julie and River are joining me now. Thank you both so much for being here and breaking this down for us and introducing us to this film. Julie, I want to start with you. What does it mean to be intersex? Let's start there. Yes, good. Start with basics because our uh, level of uh, knowledge on this as a society is kind of woefully low. And obviously you can't advocate for your rights if no one knows who you are. Um, intersex is an umbrella term for somewhere between 30 and 40 different biological variations. That means that someone's anatomy, chromosomes, hormones, or other sex traits don't fit neatly and squarely into the male and female boxes that we're accustomed to, to thinking are such a sharp divide. How common is this? for someone uh, to be born intersex. Right, well, um, it's much more common than people think. The figure that the United Nations uses is 1.7% uh, of the population with some kind of uh, intersex traits. Uh, a sort of, by a narrower definition that might lead to surgical intervention is more like one out of every 1,500 people. You all have become leaders in this movement advocating for the intersex community. How has that been for you? I kind of happened upon the whole intersex rights movement and the community um, through the internet and social media. And it's just crazy to me that something that I thought I was going to take to the grave with me um, and never speak about these intimate parts of my body my whole life is now something that I'm creating art from and um, find a whole community of people who are also fighting for the rights of body autonomy. All right, let's watch a portion of the movie. Our goal is to pass a bill to condemn these medically unnecessary surgeries. A huge revolution starting right now. Hey, intersex surgery! Just existing as an intersex person is grounds for celebration. So, kind of take us through your journey a little bit. So when I was 12, I was told that I was born without testes, um, so with a penis, but without testes, and that I would have to start taking testosterone to go through puberty. And then at 16, I had a surgery to implant prosthetic testicles into my scrotum. The idea being, if my genitals looked um, like that of a normal cisgendered man, that then I would have a normal life. Um, the irony of it all is that later in my life, I would then come out as trans feminine and non-binary. And the surgery that doctors said was necessary to for my health um, was actually just a cosmetic surgery um, and was not necessary to, for my gender now as a trans feminine, non-binary person. Um, so it was really hard for my parents who I grew up in El Salvador and came to the country in the 80s, and they were just kind of listening to doctor's orders. And it wasn't until I came in as queer in my early 20s and then intersex later on that I realized that all these notions of what my gender was was all decided for me. And it's not until now in my life that I'm actually taking agency over what my gender means to me now and how I wish to express it. What's the main message that you want people to walk away with once they, they watch this film? I want people to walk away from this film understanding that intersex people are exist, A, because <laughs> that's like the first step, um, that they're worthy of fair, humane medical treatment just like everyone else, um, and kind of wanting to advocate for their intersex friends and neighbors. I also really want people to walk away from this movie feeling good. There's a lot that's empowering and inspiring about the modern day intersex rights movement. 
River and Julie, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for uh, giving us your insights and, and introducing us to, for, or introducing those who may not be aware of intersex to that community. Thank you so much. You can watch Everybody right now in theaters. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.